So I'm here at Future Design Engineering. I'm with Dave London, who's actually from, originally, New Zealand. Um, David, thanks for the invitation here to Future Design Engineering. What we're going to do in this video is explore the installation of Open Minds Hypermill software. Now, I believe we were here a few months ago when you'd first taken, yeah. I call it taken delivery or had the software installed. And you didn't know much about it at that time. You had the training to undertake. How's it going now, a few months on? Yeah, well, it's, it's, uh, it's really good, really enjoying it. Um, it's, it's, once you've got your head around it, it's a lot uh, easier to, to use. Um, what were you using before? I mean, here you've got Herco machines, three axis machines, and now you've uh, got the Matsura five axis pallet solution. How were you programming these machines prior to Hypermill? Well, we were using a, uh, a CAM package. It, it, uh, it just was more limited um, with the capabilities of Hypermill. We're able to do a lot okay, more what, intricate machining. What are the things that you you could explain maybe to somebody who's never used Hypermill that have really made you excited to use it and really taught you what it can do for the company? Um, well, it, it really makes you a lot more confident with your programming. Uh, it, it gouge checks, collision checks um, against vices, fixtures and things. It's, um, and what about the creation of a part, the creation of a program? how it's all set up in the oh, machine? It, it, it's a lot easier. The whole recognition feature, pocket features. When you set up your part, you run through a uh, job assistant that'll find all the holes. It knows the sizes. It knows where to put chamfers, whether it's a tapped hole, um, the depth, and basically it'll sort all that out for you. So before you had that, you would have had to do all those things manually, essentially. Yeah, then. yeah which would be a, a hugely time-consuming oh, process. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, uh, and, and you've got to create geometry and things like that, yeah. What about the tool inside, the selection of tools, the storage of tools? <clears throat> Again, really good. It's got a uh, tool database um, where, where you create a tool, you add your holder, uh, all the tool data, and when you choose your tool, all the speeds and feeds come through with it. So it's giving you guidance at the same time. And so yeah. if you didn't have experience in machining, this could really hold your hand through the journey. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it, it's really nice software. Because it's so important to make parts as quickly as possible, not only design and develop them and program them, but the machining cycle as well. Does the programs that you create in Hypermill make the machining mm -hmm. extremely efficient as well? So i.e. will it, you know, I say cut corners, it's the wrong analogy to use, but will it make the part faster by taking shortcuts? Uh, definitely, definitely. It, um, um, yeah, it stays on the job cutting as much as it can, uh, limits all its rapid moves. Um, yeah, it, it just takes care of all of that. So programming using Hypermill compared to how you did it before with the MAM machines, what's the difference? Well, it's it's quicker, it's more reliable, it's, it's safer. It's it's night and day difference. 